What is up everybody? It is your boy Herf here back on the Dueling Center Entertainment channel and today we're going to be over how you actually build Dark Lords. Where do you get all the cards? What skill do you use? What character? What unlock? All that kind of stuff. Where do you get this stuff? Okay? So, uh, first of all, we're using Destiny Draw, so it has to be on Yugi. Thankfully, he's one of the first characters you unlock. I'm pretty, you can just pick him when you start. Otherwise, there's a character unlock mission at like stage 10 or something like that. Very, very easy. You just get him through playing the game. The thing will pop up. Easy peasy. This is the easiest part. You get Destiny Draw. It's a skill for him, uh, for Yugi. Uh, you can skill farm for that. Either going into casual duels or just playing the game, honestly. Uh, the other day, I got a double skill drop off of just auto dueling. It's pretty cool. But, anywho. Uh, so how the Star Scepter, or and the Star Seraph Scepter and the Star Seraph Chair, are both in Infinite Ray. So this was not this most recent ma main box, but the one before that. This box also contains uh, Ptolemy M7, Heliopolis. Excuse me. And all those wonderful cards, uh, Rescue Rabbit. Levianir stuff like that so that's pretty good you can actually put a Levianir in here as well if you want if you get one and you want to use it but it's not not very standard Dark Lord Desire Ixchel Nastin Tezpilapoka Amdusk Contact and Sanctified Dark Lord are actually all in the same mini box called Lords of Shining so this was a mini box from a long long time ago that also had White Stone of the Ancients along with Elemental Hero, The Shining. Also a Celestial, a Superbia. So like this is where the first wave of Dark Lord support came. Uh, you know, it wasn't exactly the best when it came out. Uh, it has Ryko in here, it has Morningstar. This is where like all of the monsters and uh, Contact and Sanctified are both at. It has Uka back in here as well that we don't use. This is actually the box that originally came out with Gwenifer as well. Uh, fun fact. But yeah, so that's where all of those cards are. They're actually way back in the Lords of Shining that came out on April 30th, 2019. So almost two years ago. Now, which is crazy now that I'm thinking about it. But anyways, so that's where all of like those main monster cards and spell and trap cards are. So now moving on to Book of Moon. Book of Moon you get in the most recent selection box. Uh, <laughs> so if you don't have it right now, uh, the the it'll probably come back in about April, but... Uh, there's no guarantees about when it comes back. It'll come back with the mini selection box. It's a pretty good card. I don't think it's like super needed, right? I don't think that it's the only card that you can play for the function it provides. You can also play something like Chalice or... I mean, Chalice would be the best like one-to-one -one replacement because you're playing it as like a going second uh, problem-solving card, right? So that's Book of Moon operates that. Also, it's better than chalice because it's a good going first card as well so you could replace it with honestly chalice or any kind of back row or disruption card that you prefer but book of moon is optimal and then we need triple banishment this is absolutely mandatory okay this is the best card in the deck absolutely best card oh not related cards we want how to obtain and you get this in Valhalla Calling. So if we look at Valhalla Calling, you also will get Scrap Dragon, Forbidden Lance, Valhalla. Some people play Valhalla. I haven't really been playing it. Uh, I don't know. It's it's cool, but it's like, I don't know. And I guess it helps you get out your Star Seraph monsters more if you want to, but I don't know. I haven't really been playing Valhalla Calling. I have three, but whatever. Uh, you also get Fortune Lady Every. You get Hammerhead. You get Kinkabayo. All of these awesome cards. Oh, yeah, you get the whole Fortune Ladies in here. You also get Flower Guardians. So, just saying. 
So you'll need three of that. And then you probably need Cosmic Cyclone or Forbidden Lance. Cosmic Cyclone is way back in Galactic Origin. Along with Trifortress Tops. This, this card is good. This card is better than MST. I don't care what anybody says, especially Circus. He's wrong. Okay? This is the best card in Duel Links, practically. It's really good. Best generic backer removal, period, in my opinion. Only thing that may come close is, like, Forbidden Lance. So that's there. Uh, I don't think there's anything else really missing for the main deck. This was in the most recent mini box. This is honestly just like good generic rank fours. Uh, Photon of Galaxies right there. Starleash Paladynamo was in the selection. Utopic Ray was in uh, Infinite Ray. Oh, that's actually the cover card. Welp. Uh, that's embarrassing. Anyways, uh, you, so you're going to need Utopia if you're going to play Utopia Ray. So how, how do you obtain this guy? You get him from Shining Hope. Deltaros comes from Shining Hope. Yeah, that's where you also get the uh, Utopia. They're actually right next to each other in the box. So that's nice. Both main box ultra rares. <laughs> so this deck is pretty expensive. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie to you. If you're a new player... Do not buy this deck. Like, it's not worth it. I know I'm saying, like, this deck is so crazy. It's so amazing. It's awesome. But at the end of the day, oh, this is in Photon of Galaxy as well. At the end of the day, I genuinely don't believe that it is anything. This is in the selection box. So some of the cards you can't even get anymore. What I'm going to tell you about building this deck is this. It probably costs too much money for the amount of value you're going to get out of it, especially at this point. However, I do think it is one of the best decks in the game. So if you're close or uh, maybe I don't know, if you really want it, you don't really care about money. Sure. Buy it. It's cool. It's a great deck. Get it. However, if you a don't want to spend money or B don't want to spend that much money, or C, like, don't even like Dark Lords to begin with, please do, do not get this deck. Or if you, or even if you're not like a whale, maybe you're just a dolphin, and uh, you, don't, you don't love, you know, maybe you don't love the deck, maybe you don't have a lot of it yet, do not go, like, take months to get it. Because in a few months, who knows what they're going to do to this deck, who knows how much of it, it'll be power crept. The, the best future investment for this deck is the stick and chair engine. I think that this engine probably won't be going away anytime soon. The biggest problem is that it pretty much requires uh, three material monsters to go into. So it'll always be limited by that. So it's, it's really good. However, it does have some limited future potential. But overall, solid. I mean, it's expensive, but I feel like for right now, you get your money's worth, but in terms of an investment, I'm not sure. Anyways, I hope that helps you guys. Uh, make sure you get in the Discord to get some free new player help as well as join our tournaments. Make sure you get the Twitch so you can actually sign up for those, or make sure you go to the Twitch so you can watch the tournaments. We just had our first stream that hit over 1,000 viewers. That was absolutely phenomenal. Thank you all of you guys for checking us out and supporting us and then make sure you also while you're here like comment subscribe why not just do it why not i'm looking at you like comment subscribe but thank you anyways thank you very much and i will see you guys later